With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this problem, we have given to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit shown in the figure between the points A and B, that means here and here. Uh, each resistance has a resistance R. So, first focus on the uh, focus on the diagram first, which is uh, which is this part. Now you can see that if you uh, if you give a potential over here as x, then the potential over here will also be x. So if for this register, you consider that the at both end the potential is same. So that's why uh, from this resistance. From this resistance, there is no flow of uh, current. There is no flow of current, so current will be zero. Now, the circuit will be like this. Circuit will be like this, and and here A and B, and there here is also another resistance. Now you can see that here here are resistance R R R R and R. Uh, these two resistances are in series combination, so it becomes 2R. These two in series combination as the same current flow through both capacity, uh, both uh, resistance. So these uh, resistances, these equivalent resistance will also again 2R. Now the final diagram, final circuit diagram between A and B will be like this. This is R, this is 2R and this is 2R. Okay. So 2R, 2R and R. Now what we can observe here that 2R and 2R will be in parallel combination. So if 2R and 2R will be in parallel combination, will be in parallel combination, then it becomes 2R by 2. That means its equivalent will, will become R. And there is another resistance between A and B edge R. Now both resistance R and R will be in parallel. So again this, these two resistances are in parallel combination. So R equivalent across AB will be equals to R upon 2. So this is the answer of the first part. In the second part, what we can see that along OB, the same resistances are above the this horizontal line as the below okay so we can solve it by folding symmetry folding symmetry or we can solve it by mirror symmetry or we can solve it by mirror symmetry so if we use mirror symmetry then the circuit will become like this then the circuit will become like this there will be no connection at this point okay there will be no connection it should be hanged in the air it should be hanged in the The situation will be like this across A and B. Across A and B. Now, the, if this is R, this is R, this is R. So, since all resistances are R, so just we have to solve the series and parallel combination of the resistances. These two will be in series, these two will be in series. Okay, and these two will also be in series combination. So, situation will be like this that if here is A and here is B then there will be R R and situation will be like this okay then there will be a six center resistance there will be R R this combination and this so this is R this is 2R this is 2R this is 2R this is R okay this is R R R and R now we have to again simplify this circuit 
how could we simplify as we can see that these two resistances are in parallel combination these two resistances are in parallel combination so the equivalent of these parallel combination resistance will be like r there will be a single resistance for both resistance um, the same situation will be in the down part of a and b so this will be r this will becomes 2r by 3 this will becomes r this is r this is 2r by 3 this is r and in between there is 2r resistance now we can see that all these three resistances are in series combination all these three resistances are in series combination so again the circuit will simplified as this is 2r there will be one resistance only there will be one resistance one equivalent resistance only for between a and b so this will be equals to 2r plus 2r by 3 that means 8r by 3 and this is also 8r by 3 now all three are in parallel combination so first of all we will solve we will solve this uh, these two these two resistances are in parallel combination so this will be equals to this will be equals to uh, 4 8r by 3 and 8r by 3 is in parallel combination so this will be equals to 4r by 3 and 2r so here is b so 8r by 3 8r by 3 will become 4r by 3 and 2r now again both resistances are in parallel so r equivalent across a b can be written as 4 r by 3 multiply by 2 r upon 4 r by 3 plus 2 r so this will be equals to 10 r upon 3 this will be equals to in the numerator side side it will be equals to 8 r square upon 3 and 10 r upon 3 3 3 get cancelled r will cancel r by 1 2 4 ja 8 2 5 ja 10 so this will be equals to 4 upon 5 r so r equivalent across a b in the second diagram will be equals to 4 upon 5 r thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today